Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Resources Research Techniques. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can modify the text inside LaTeX. So as you can see, I already have my text editor already open, and we're going to begin with what you always begin with by declaring the document class. So in this particular example, we're going to use article. That's kind of how we normally do it. And we don't need to add or use any additional packages, so we don't need to use the use package declaration in this particular video. So next, we begin our document environment. And then, of course, I like to end it immediately because otherwise I will tend to forget to do this. Now, in particular, in this video, we're going to learn how to you know, bold text, how to italicize it, and how to bold and italicize at the same time as well as how to change the font temporarily. So why don't we begin with the bold text? Or one more thing I oh, one more thing I need to do is I need to add my section here, which is introductions, because this is going to be in the introduction of my uh, my document. So we have our document set up. Everything is going to happen within the begin document and the end document declarations there. That is our environment. So our first example, this is an example of now when you want to modify the text you must first put the actual command or the declaration you want to use followed by the actual text you would like to format in curly braces so that's how you do it so to bold a text you do the forward or the backward slash text bf and then inside the curly braces you put the actual word or the sentence or the paragraph you want to modify so in this example we are going to bold the word bold i hope that's not confusing that's what we're going to do followed by a period in the, in the text. So let's take a look at this real quick. So that's what it looks like. This is an example of bold text. So you can see very clearly that this is clearly bold text. Amazing. Now, I'm going to do this again. And this is going to be a, this is an example of, this time I'm going to italicize. So text IT, this is for italics. And then we put text period. So let's take a look at that now. All right, this is an example of bold text and this is an example of italic text. Notice how even though in my editor, I put them on separate lines, LaTeX ignores that and puts them all on the same line because I didn't put, because going across lines doesn't mean anything in the tech editor to LaTeX. If you want this to be on a separate line, you must either press enter like this or another way you can do it is if you put two um, backward slashes like this. So if you take a look at that, you can see now that it's moved over. Nice and neat, easier to see. So we're going to continue that. So we've looked at bold text. It's text BF. We looked at italics, text IT. That's how it works. And you can also do something we call nested um, declarations where you have an outer declaration and then you have an inner declaration and this allows you to do multiple things to text at the same time. If you're familiar with coding, you, you're probably very familiar with nested coding and nested for loops and nested if else statements, etc. Similar concept, if you're familiar with HTML, nested divs, you know, coding can be very nested, <laughs> if you will. So this is an example of, um, so we need to do text, bf, curly brace, backward slash again, text, uh, IT, curly brace, bold, and italic, two curly braces, text. Now, why do I need two curly braces? Because I have two commands here, or two declarations that are happening, so I have to close it out like so. Let's see if this works. All right, beautiful. So you can see in our example, the third line, this is an example of bold and italic text. So you can see clearly right here that the text is not only bold, but it's also in italics simultaneously. That is the beauty of nested declarations. And now the last thing I would like to show you is how to change the text or the, the font temporarily. So we're gonna do this. This is an example of, uh, let's see here, what do we call this? Typewriter font. So we're gonna use back for backward slash text T, T, so three T's like that, so text T, T, as you will. Type, writer, font. Oops, excuse me, put the curly brace the wrong way. Font, like so. 
And then now, well, I got to put my double backward slash here to get a separate line. And then we do this. All right. And so you can see right here that this is typewriter font. For those of you who are old enough to remember what a typewriter is, it's slightly different. Often in um, in books and articles and things, web web addresses are used and are put in typewriter font as an example. So in this particular video, we've learned several things. We learned how to bold a text, how to put a text in italics, how to use nested declarations, which allows you to do several um, things to a, a, a particular text at the same time, which is right here in our third line. And we also learned how to temporarily change the font, because if you can see here, only typewriter is changed in terms of its font type. Font is not changed. This is an example is not changed. And so that is yet another example of the power and flexibility of LaTeX. Again, if you had been trying to do this in Microsoft Word, oh, you can you can definitely get it done, but you're clicking back and forth, clicking, clicking here, clicking there. You know, it takes it's slower. But with a LaTeX, if you're familiar with the coding, you can do things much faster, and that's the power and the flexibility of it. So we would like to thank you for watching this video and take care.